Yeah. Uh, I'm good. How are all of you? Good. It's good to see you all today. Well, we brought you here today to discuss um, the weak performance if we continue to lose money and our sales are suffering. Something has to be done. We need to be more progressive in gaining new customers. You know, I, I couldn't agree more. Um, I feel JCPenney is progressive, though. You know, that's where we differ. You know, this isn't a JCPenney problem, this is a market problem. Macy's, Kohl's, Sears, all of them, they're all losing money. Just as bad as we are. We just gotta weather the storm. We can we can beat this. We beat it before in the past, we'll beat it again. We just gotta stay true to our past and, and, and weather through it. We'll get there. And when it comes to progression, you know, we've done a lot of things to, to progress with the times. I mean, look at our old logo. I mean, that was the staple of JCPenney for years and years and years. And you know, very progressive, we changed that. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at that. That's progressive, folks. That is progressive. Mike, all we did was make the letters lowercase and we boxed in the PO box. You know, it's just the subtle things. You progressive. have done hardly anything to bring in new clients and customers. And we are still considered the frumpy department store. We, we are not frumpy. I hear that all the time. We're not frumpy. St. John's Bay is not frumpy. They're good quality clothes. Kids want St. John's Bay, I'm telling you. Mike, we are afraid to say, but the board directors and I feel it's time for JCPenney to take a new direction. Your services as CEO will no longer be needed. I feel it's time you take your retirement and we bring in someone new with new fresh ideals and we can move our company forward in the right direction. Because right now we're constantly like stuck in your storm. We don't know where we're going to get out. So you want to move forward without being a CEO is what you're saying? Correct. Okay, well, well good luck with that. Um, you know, if that's your choice, then so be it. But. I'll see you guys. Yeah, it was nice working with all of you. Right, thank you for your services. Yes, uh, nice working with you. Thank you. Good luck. You'll be begging me to come back. We'll see. It's sad because he started off so well. Mm. But who do we get to replace Mike now? Mm. Oh, we go with that Ron Johnson guy. You know, that's a good idea because Ackman did mention him in our last board meeting, and he would be a great to bring into the company so we can reinvent our brand. Great thinking. Let's call him and see if he's interested in being our new CEO. Okay, I'm going to have Jeff get him, get Ron Johnson on the line and we can give him a call. Okay, that sounds, sounds good. good. All right. Yes, Jeff. Great, please send him in. How's he here? Yeah, he's here. Right. How's it going? Hi. Hi. I'm Shannon McFadden. Ron Johnson. Jimmy Spicer, nice to meet you. Karen Mola, nice to meet you. Can give him a brief introduction. Board, I would like to introduce you to Ron Johnson, the new CEO of our company. Just to give you a little background on Ron, Ron was previously employed at Apple as Senior Vice President of Retail Operations, whose stores had the highest profit per square foot of any retail chain in America. Isn't that awesome? That sounds awesome. That's good stuff. Ron was also the VP of Merchandising for Target, and he also worked at Marvin's. We know that with all his success with his prior companies, he will bring the Midas touch to pennies. We can't wait to get started. Mm -hmm. So, Ron, we need to get started right away. We want to be progressive and move forward with gaining new customers. But first of all, I would like to start by saying, I see you still having your Apple tire on. Yes. We did agree that you would wear JCPenney tire once you started here. So, if you don't mind, the little closet that we built for you, mm -hmm. can you, like, Get some JCPenney wear put on while we conduct the meeting. Absolutely. Get somebody walk in. I recommend St. John's Bay. Yeah. Okay. I'll okay. be right back. Okay. I'm very excited. Me too. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> Looks good on you. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Right. Official <laughs> now. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, thanks for bringing me in. This is a wonderful opportunity. Uh, you all know why I'm here. You all know my rock star track record. I hope to bring that success here to uh, Penny's. Uh, I'm taking a look at the reports here, and I see that uh, you're losing money. Yeah. And market share. And the stocks are tanking. Mm -hmm. So you're going to need a change around here. So I'm thinking we're going to need to rethink every aspect of our business. So first, we need to start. We need to start changing the image. Give me a sec. Okay. First of all, Penny's image is boring, honestly. It's out of touch. Uh, we need to inject new life into it, so I'm going to start with the logo. Uh, I'm not crazy about this logo. I want something that uh, makes us stand out. So I have this idea, okay? And it's something like this. Oh, this is impressive. 
within the store. Okay, we're going to bring in brands like Martha Stewart, Levi, Sephora, and Annette Lepore, Okay, we're going to aggressively expand up to three stores a month through 2015. It's going to encompass the whole company. It's going to be amazing. Okay, this is this is what people want: a store within a store, within a mall. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Okay, which brings me to testing. Yeah, we're not going to test any of these items. We're not going to test any of these items. No! We're going to implement them immediately. Oh, yes, yes, yes. They will work. I never tested it out. Never. And we were still successful. So, we want to implement all these changes and reduce our workforce at the same time? Yes, we can do it. I have faith in this company. It's been around for over 100 years. I know we can pull this off. Testing is a waste of time. We're going to bring in all these changes. Trust me, I have an instinct about these things. I know what the customers want, even if they don't. Well, okay? Ron, we have to be mindful that Apple's technology, Penny's is clothing. Mm. There's a big difference here. It doesn't matter the industry. I can, I can work in both. Remember, I did have experience at Target. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Um, anyways, we got to wrap this up. i got to fly back out to California. Um, also, I do appreciate you guys agreeing to my terms, bringing me in, um, flying me down here to Texas every week, and putting me in that $3,000 a night hotel. You know, that's very hospitable of you. Also, um, giving me complete autonomy over the company. That's going to make things much easier. It's going to bring the changes quicker. And finally, that $50 million bonus, that's definitely going to be a motivator. Okay? So don't worry. Give me uh, two, maybe three years. My strategy will work. You'll see. Anyways, i got to go. Uh, it's nice seeing you all. Be back down next week. Appreciate your time. Rob, thank nice you. Thank you. I'm excited. I know you are, too. Take you have care. a good day. Have a nice flight. Have a good flight. All right. Thank you. You know, we all agree to this, but the question is, why? You know, but he did it at Target, you know, the guy's, the guy's proven himself, so maybe it'll work. I'm scared. I don't know if this is going to work. We have to wait and see, right? Any time to tell?